<laughs> You're looking great. All right. Let's get started. He <laughs> thank has you very no much. choice. And thank you very much. I D R the A D D. Identify, diagnose, and repair the American dream disconnect. When I was young, I was raised to believe a specific formula. A plus B plus C equals X. X equaling success. A, education. B, hard work. C, that job. And if I worked hard at that job, using my education, I would go on ahead and have some success. I embraced that belief, that American dream formula. And I took it with me to every single interview that I've ever gone on, every time. And every time, it failed to pan out. I kept going back and saying to myself, well, there must be something wrong with what I'm doing. Maybe I don't have an education. So I went to school. Got my bachelor's degree, four years over there at SDSU. Served my country in the United States Marine Corps for four years. And when I got out, I wanted to be able to get the job that would give me success. That thing that we all want. That we're all here working for. Those of us that don't have our own business and are employed, we all want that as well. <laughs> and we want it from our employers. The only thing that happened was I wasn't passing the eye exam. People would see me and immediately presume my limitations within 15 seconds of seeing me. So the A plus B plus C wasn't working because I didn't have the invitation to the nice job, the corner office, the briefcase, the hot chocolate in one hand, because I don't drink coffee. So for me, <laughs> the invitation wasn't there, which meant if I didn't get invited to the good job, there was no way this equation could equal success. No matter how much I learned, no matter how hard I worked, it would not happen. So I understood I had to make a change. I had to change. And it wasn't a choice that I made. It was more a lack of options. When I realized what kind of change I wanted to make, I had just earned my competent communicator in Toastmasters. That change started for me with my fourth attempt at project number nine, <laughs> Persuade with Power. And something happened there that didn't happen on the previous attempts. I found my speaking voice. I worked my process, met my deadlines, and I found my voice. Yeah, it was there. Right there. <laughs> it chills down my spine, too. I said, like, oh, and this was different. And the strange thing about that, I've never been the same since. I had no idea up to that point that finding my speaking voice would actually change who I was forever. Once that happened, I said, I want to go all the way. This is just the CC. And most people in Toastmasters drop out once they get their competent communicator. The problem with that is finding the speaking voice. It's a very cathartic, and powerful sense of accomplishment. But it's just the first one. There are seven more designations after that. And I started wondering, all right, what do you got? Let's see here. If I can get this out of one designation, what could I possibly get out of the rest of them? And by advanced communicator bronze, I went on ahead and took advantage of those manuals, executed those projects, knocked them all out in 10 weeks straight. And I realized I need to fall back on my process. <laughs> my process in the beginning 
Research, write, revise, and rehearse. But I was a competent communicator now. I didn't have to do all of that. I knew that. I found my speaking voice. And I quickly learned I got to go through that again. <laughs> the thing that kept me in Toastmasters was the leadership track. The competent leader manual and the competent leader projects taught me how to demonstrate individual leadership. And when I was voluntold to be the club president of Harvard Court, I panicked. I'd never led a group of volunteers before, let alone a group of people who could just at any minute, eh, I don't want to do what you say, and leave. I had never learned how to run a meeting. No one had ever asked me to run this meeting before. I had zero idea how to do that. Funny thing was, there was a manual for that. <laughs> Facilitating the discussion taught me how to fake my way through <laughs> leading a meeting. 20, 30 minutes, I said, hey, I'll run the officer's meeting off of this thing, and these projects will count towards my communication track. All right, and did it. Everyone was looking to me for answers at the point we had 16 members in the club, and they were looking to me for answers, and I was able to give it to them. I was able to help people who wanted me to help them, and that was even bigger than the competent communicator and finding my speaking voice. Because I had learned how to lead a group of different personalities. And that to me was huge. Later on, after achieving the advanced communicator goal, I said, I want to get the DTM. Let's go on ahead to the advanced leader silver. The advanced leader silver was another monumental project. That high performance leadership manual talked me and walked me through the steps of leading not just different personalities, but different cultures. Every single club you will visit has a different club culture. Land that my great-grandchildren's great-grandchildren can call their ancestral home. And when I thought about that, I thought to myself, do I have the resources to finance this? Am I going to get those resources from my employer? Some of you may be asking yourselves that very same question, only because you're the middle of speech. <laughs> But when you think about it, increasing your resources, increasing your tools will give you the ability to go off and make these things happen. That A plus B plus C equals X, for me, had to be changed because it was a lie. Plain and simple. That was the hardest thing for me to admit. It took 10 years, but it was a lie. I had to embrace my own equation, my thing. And that was V plus P plus D equals my goal. Vision, planning, and discipline. The important part in that was believing in my vision, strategic planning, and the discipline to stick to my plan. Some of you here may be guests, some of you might be members, but I would never have gotten to this equation if I hadn't learned those skills from Toastmasters. There is zero doubt in my mind about that. For those of you who are thinking about joining, you are not going to find a better program for the money anywhere. I looked for years.
there is no program as open as embracing that has this many skills to teach every single person who signs up. It's up to you to decide what your next move is going to be. Madam Toastmaster. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have known Michael 